Hi all, everything in my video is pulled from the public domain and I am using them under the Fair Use Fair Dealings Guidelines. Everything I say is my own opinion. You should look into this information for yourselves, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Hi guys, this is gonna be a super short video. We're touching on just a few topics, but before we even discuss those, I have some information for you guys and a question. First of all, in response to the comments that have been emailed to me, yes, I'm aware that my voice is going up and down and sounds scratchy. It's been doing that ever since I had COVID. I'm not sure what's happening. Can't do anything about it. I apologize. And actually, the question I have for you is about Finn, but I'm going to save that till the end. So this is going to be a super, 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 super short video. Let's just dive right in. To start with, Omid Scoby put up a tweet that said that because of Harry and Megan, who went to Vax Live, 1.1 billion to fight poverty was made. Of course, it had nothing to do with Jennifer Lopez or Ed Sheeran or any of the other performers around the world who gave their time and who performed. No, 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 no. It's just these two. Right. Then you have to look at the speeches that the two of them gave during the concert, right? They don't want to put out misinformation, but they did. Well, when the two of them gave their speech at the Vax Live, Megan said, and I'm quoting, it's wrong that so much of the vaccine supply has only gone to just 10 wealthy nations and not everybody else, and that's just not okay. Harry, of course, urged the ultra-wealthy pharmaceutical companies to share their recipes for vaccines, stating, quote, countries have the means, the ability, and the workers to start making these vaccines. All they're waiting for is the vaccine intellectual property to be waived and for the vaccine technology to be transferred over. So what's come out of it now is that the issue is just a little bit more complex than what they're saying. The Director General of the International Federation of Pharmaceutical Manufacturers even said, quote, we agree that action is needed now, that vaccines should be quickly and equi equitably shared, but waiving intellectual rights to the COVID-19 vaccine is not going to increase production or provide practical solutions. It was said that, especially with the RNA vaccines, there aren't many places in the developing world that could manufacture them. They don't have the technology. The problem, they said, is, quote, trade barriers, supply chain bottlenecks, a lack of raw materials, and a reluctance among rich countries to share doses. Those are the issues that countries need to tackle. But hey, if it's money, why don't Harry and Meghan give up some of their millions upon millions? That would help a lot. All right, remember I told you how they put up stories to see if they'll float and to see what public opinion is before they make decisions? Well, I believe this is one of those. The article came out saying that Harry and Meghan are gonna return to the UK to pay a special in-person tribute to Philip. Supposedly, there's going to be a memorial ceremony for the Duke of Edinburgh later this year. We already know Meghan is not going to go. She's not going to step foot on UK soil. Whether Harry will go, I don't know, because let's face it, every time he flies in there, he's triggered. Yet at the same time, he really needs to keep himself tied to the family so they can make money. We shall see. To end this video, let's just take a look at which one of the brothers is definitely Diana's son, no doubt. So to start with, I'm going to show you some video of Finn and I playing in the backyard. Atta boy. Hey. Oh, I'm going to get you, get you, get you, get you. Oh, I'm going to get you, get you, get you, get you, get you. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. <laughs> and now comes my question. My husband and I have noted that when we walk the dog and we pass an adult, we let the dog go up to the adult. He's getting more brave, no problems. But when he sees a child or he sees a teenager, you know, we do the same thing. We sit back and let him go towards them. And instead, he growls, he barks, and you can actually see the hair on the back of his neck stand up. Like, I'm not kidding. He is so aggressive to the point where we're getting nervous now that he's bigger about taking him downtown like we used to because I can't take the chance of him biting someone. 
So if anybody has any ideas or thoughts on how to contain that or how to get around that, I would really appreciate it. So what do you guys think about their threat to return to the UK for the Duke of Edinburgh's memorial service? What do you think about the misinformation being put out by Harry and Meghan about what's really going on with the vaccine? These two who are always going on about don't put out misinformation did exactly that. What do you guys think about Omid putting out a tweet basically saying that these two were responsible for all the money that was raised? Don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget you can follow me on Twitter. Don't forget you can email me. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified of future uploads. And don't forget about my coffee fund. And as always, you guys, have a great day.